New documents released on August 31st by the U.S. House Select Subcommittee on Coronavirus show that top officials of the Trump administration downplayed the pandemic. The White House has known since June that the coronavirus cases were surging across the country. But the Trump administration has repeatedly called for reopening the economy. Opening up America again. And that's what we're doing. We're opening up our country. Why did President Trump downplay the pandemic? On his inauguration day in January 2017, U.S. President Donald Trump filed for his re-election in 2020. We will make America great again. Claiming that he can make America great again, President Trump is determined to stay in the White House for another term. His top priority is to win the re-election. Even the pandemic and the hundreds of thousands of deaths could not change his plan. In terms of foreign policy, Trump projected himself as tough on China by raising tariffs on Chinese goods. The Trump administration sanctioned the Chinese technologies, such as Huawei and TikTok. Speaking of the U.S. economy, before the pandemic, it slowly climbed up out of recession, and the unemployment rate stayed at a lower level. President Trump bragged about the growth at his achievement. U.S. companies moved the manufacturing jobs and the supply chains to developing economies decades ago. In fact, the share of the U.S. in the world economy has been in decline because of the sustained growth of the emerging markets. But with the U.S. having the most cases in the world, its economy contracted at the rate of 32.9% from April through June, its worst job on record. The stock market has also stumbled on a rocky path. But the big corporations and conservative interest groups that support Trump want a strong U.S. economy and the bull market. That's why Trump focused on the U.S. stock market performances, but don't play the pandemic. Out of the fear that telling people to stay at home and practicing social distancing would halt the economy and the business, supporting groups of President Trump organized the nationwide rallies against the social distancing and the stay-at-home orders. And Trump extended his support to the protests. All schools should be making plans to resume in-person classes as soon as possible. Soon, the number of confirmed cases in the U.S. hit 500,000, 1 million, 2 million. It only took the U.S. 17 days to hit the 5 million mark from 4 million cases. Now there are more than 6 million cases, and the number of deaths is hitting 200,000. Having praised the Chinese government's effectiveness in tackling the pandemic, Trump made a U-turn by denying his mistakes in delaying the fight against the pandemic in the U.S. and describing COVID-19 as a Chinese virus. The whole act of condemning China is to help Trump woo the voters and the interest groups that support him. Trump refused to wear a mask in public and attacked Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden for wearing it. Did you ever see a man that likes a mask as much as him? And then he makes a speech and he always has it, not always, but a lot of times he has it hanging down. Because you know what? It gives him a feeling of security. If I were a psychiatrist, I'd say this guy's got some big issues. But when the president finally put on a mask in July, he called himself a patriot. It's time for the U.S. leader to come to senses and take people's lives more seriously. There is no magic cure available before November's election. And the only way to restart the U.S. economy is to stop the virus first.